poem? What are you reading in there? It looks like a high school. Oh no, and the, oh, it's addresses. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I write poems just okay. for the like <laughs> Yeah, when they're really boring. <laughs> I'll give those run it back. Yeah. Yeah, you just missed Do your buddy uh, Bruce Greenwood in here. He was, oh God, oh my God. That was pretty hilarious. Okay. Yeah, he's funny. He was pretty funny. Okay, are we good? All right. Uh, welcome back. Always good to have you at TIFF. You know, Thank it's you. It's good to keep that you're keeping it regular, that you're, you know, you keep coming here. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm here every year. It's well, funny. What's good? No, it's good. It's just always um, my family's here and my best friends are here, so it's always a little. Stressful. Well, uh, yeah, I'm sure because you have to do your duties, but you want to see your friends and your family. You it's know? been really nice. I, I'm actually working here right now too, which is nice. What nice. are you working on? I'm working on a movie called The Vow, and I'm doing another movie in um, Montreal called The Moth Diaries. Uh, oh yeah, right. So you're like a busy dude. It sounds. I'm. It's, uh, I am, but uh, I'm. It, it's not. I'm not nearly as busy as it sounds. Ah, uh, well, yeah. that's okay. Make it sound busy. I know. I know. You're right. I'm supposed I'm to be so doing busy. that. <laughs> um, Scott. I don't even know where to begin. You did a fantastic job in this oh, movie, like thanks. fantastic. Have I said that today? No, I have not. Okay, really, and really, I, you know, commend you because thanks. first of all, being a Canadian, it's Mordecai Richler's book. Okay, it's a revered book here. Everybody loves this guy, and then you get to be a part of this film. Was it a little nerve-wracking at all for you? I think it was not, not just because of. I think I was really. I wanted. Uh, I know how important the story was to Robert. Lanto, so um, I really I knew everybody was really wanting to do a good job, so I felt that pressure, and I felt the pressure of acting with really great people and having that caliber be so high. But I, I didn't feel a lot of pressure from you know the the book itself or just uh, how popular a book it was. I didn't know the book to be honest. I knew who Mordecai Richler was obviously, but I hadn't read this book before, and I got the part without having read the the book. I went back and started reading it a bit, and I had to put it down because I was starting to get a little yeah stressed about it, yeah. you know, but, about doing it right. And, exactly, because it's one of those, you know, yeah. treasures, and it's Mordecai Richler. And, you He's know. pretty great, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then, you know, Boogie, like, he, you know, the one thing about this guy, I mean, yeah, he's got his problems, you know, he certainly has his problems, and yet, and also you go through an aging process in this film, too. A little bit. I think I just was so messed up in the end. There was no age makeup. That was, I'm serious. I watched it last night. I was like, wow, I look really... Really messed up, but I mean it's only a ten year gap. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that's true. It wasn't that I was just really messed up. I just didn't stop eating and. Like I was going to ask you how much you really uh, put out for this movie. Ah, uh, you know, um, in some ways yes, in some ways no. I mean, I, I did a little bit. I, I lost a lot of weight, and but and I worked really hard on certain things, boring actor stuff, but. Yeah, the, the weight stuff was weird. Yeah, that was hard to do. I didn't like doing that. Yeah, it's, was that something that was asked of you, or you no, just decided to do that on your own? You I know, just good? thought, I mean, I think he'd hit, I, you know, I just didn't want him to look healthy mm. and fine if he was, you know. Well, he's drug addicted, he's yeah. a drinker, he's, you know, womanizer. I that that kind of catches up with you after a while. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was supposed to be this great writer, and he's uh, got caught up in drugs, so I just wanted... I wanted that to, to transfer and to come across. Yeah, uh, working one on one with Paul Giamatti. I mean, you guys, all your scenes are pretty well together. But yeah. You know, what, what was that like for you? Well, that's a blast. I mean, you know, you spend so much of this business uh, waiting for the phone to ring, not working, rejection, whatnot, and then all of a sudden you're in Rome with a great acting partner, a great guy too. He's a uh, he's a lot of fun. I mean, besides being a great actor, he's he's just a cool person. So. He's really funny too. We have the same stupid sense of humor, so we had a lot of fun. <laughs> and and, and, and Rochelle, uh, told me that you guys, Rochelle, told me that you had some great party times in. Uh, in oh America. yeah, it wasn't. It was good. It was the right amount. Um, we, you know, with jet lag does weird things. You know, you can't really sleep all that well. So we would just hang out and walk around, and we just laughed a ton. And it was a lot of pressure, so it was it was good to be able to do that. Yeah. Why do you think Barney gets all these women? I don't know, he's charming. I, don't, I think he has, you know, despite himself, I think he's just a very honest, he has a sincere presence and a very attractive presence that Paul certainly brings to the character. Yeah. Well, what I, what I love about, you know, when I, when I talk to you and stuff, it's, it's so great because you, you always mix it up. It's whether it's a Canadian film or U.S. or small or big or whatever. You know, when you get scripts, is there anything particular that jumps out at you? Is it? No, I mean, to be honest, it always seems that way. It seems like it's this well-constructed thing and it's really not. I mean, I, I audition for stuff all the time that I don't get. And if I did, I'd be doing that. And, you know, I'm just terrible at auditioning for for uh, mediocre stuff, for big studio stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm terrible at it, so. Um, I just feel more comfortable in, in, you know, smaller things, so. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, because well, I mean, no, it's a, it's great when you you know we see you in so many things, and it's just it's an interesting. I think you make interesting choices, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm really picky, too. I, I wish I was a little less picky. I, was, I wish I was able to give over to some other stuff. But. Well, I think you've been doing a pretty good job. Yeah, all right, well, yeah, thanks. Not yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about Neighbors, too, because sure. a good Neighbors, sorry. Uh, we're gonna, that's in your second film in the, in the festival. Yeah. Like, uh, good old Jay Garchelle, Emily yeah. Hampshire, like old home week maybe there, huh? Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. I think Emily's incredible in the movie, what I've seen. I actually haven't seen the whole movie yet, but I think she's really going to be the surprise for people in the movie. She's wonderful, anyway. She's a really, really good actor. You know, Jay's obviously really good, but he's more established, and we know we know him. But he was, he's really compelling to watch. But Emily, I think, is really kind of steals the show here. He is quite. He's had quite a year, I'd say, that Mr. Bear. He, you know, he's got a charm on screen. He's really easy to watch. Um, he's really good. He's just interesting. He has that thing that's, you can't really teach. It's a weird thing. He's just, you can turn the camera on and. It's just interesting to watch. Yeah, you spend a lot of time in a wheelchair in this movie. Yes. Was that difficult for you? Um, it was fun. <laughs> you have to get up and walk around. <laughs> um, I don't want to give anything away, but... No, no, I mean, it was fun to, like, get into that world. Uh, that's what's fun about doing these things. There's always one thing that you have to sort of master, and for me it was this. Sort of, I would, you know, I've got one down in L.A., and I'd be in my house and try to... Yeah. It was really hard. It, yeah. it, it was kind of eye-opening, to be honest. Yeah, it was kind of eye-opening just how little I could do, really. Yeah, it really restricts you, that's for sure. It's yeah. amazing once you're put into a position. I mean, like obviously, that. yeah, we know that, but I mean, until you really do it, you don't really know. Yeah. So The Vow, is that with Rachel McAdams and Channing yeah. Tatum? Yeah, So, and are you shooting that here? Yeah, Toronto. Oh, okay, yeah. so how's that going? I had my first day uh, last week, and then I got on a plane and went to Italy for this thing. Tough life there, Scott. Well... <laughs> No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was fun. I mean, first days are always a nightmare. I always wish I could reshoot first days. But this one was pretty good. I mean, Rachel's incredible. She's really, 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 really good. So that was good, and the director's really smart, and I think Channing's a really interesting actor, too. He's another guy that's really interesting. I mean, can, it's really interesting to watch. Yeah, no, he's a really nice actor, I suppose. He's cool. He's cool. He's a, he's, he yeah, he's he a cool very, guy. He is. very, very cool. Well, the last question, we're doing a, a little feature here on luxury, and it doesn't necessarily has to be something that's monetary, but when I say luxury to you, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? What's luxurious to you? Oh, luxurious is, I mean, having the amount of time to do what I want, uh, in this uh, in this business, I mean, what it grants you when you've been working a little while and you have, you know, you work really insane hours and it's really intense for three months and then you have three months to sort of kick back and live a sort of extraordinary life. I mean, that's that's luxurious to me for sure. Yeah, I, I love that. It. I don't doubt it. Well, congratulations. You really, like I say, outstanding job. Oh, thank you. You really did a fantastic job. Thanks a lot. And you really did. You looked great in the movie too oh, until okay. you started spiraling. But you know, it was. <laughs> Did a fantastic job. Oh, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Really Pleasure to talk to you. All right, yeah. Thank you, Scott. Always. Thank you. Uh,